and Lord, I rejoice today to take back what the devil stole from us. But so was, as I was looking at the faces, I see that so was, we are not rejoicing with the devil still has some stuff for us. But um, I am rejoicing today. I'm going to take back what the devil has stolen from me. You understand? Because the Lord has promised that we're supposed to be reaping a harvest. We're supposed to be reaping a harvest. Amen? Yes. That's what he, he's faithful in his promises. He's faithful. So we're going to ensure that we, 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 we cash in on those, those promises. Right? He's done his end, so we have to do ours. Amen? Good afternoon to each and everyone. We're now at that special time of the, the, the day, divine service, where we hear from God, from his man servant, his woman servant. So we need to get our hearts and our minds in the proper position. You know, we've had a rough week, and I said to someone that it, it, the, the days are getting so difficult with this COVID and, and school and stuff that I am looking, when it comes to the Sabbath, I am just, just looking so much forward to the Sabbath. That's how it is. Because the weeks are difficult, the school and the teachers and the teachers themselves seem to be getting impatient. But the children are saying, you know, they want the COVID to be over to. But we understand that this is the only the beginning of things, that things are going to get worse. I heard this week that there will be a vaccine that's coming out. I heard there's going to be anti-vaccine sentiments that are coming out. So things are going to get worse. As the preacher preached a couple of sermon, um, sounds ago, things are going to get more challenging. But we have to look up for our redemption right now. Amen? Amen. Yes. So we are looking to the part and, and finish of our faith, the source of our strength, which is the Lord God. I will know that things will change from time to time. I was even reflecting when I was down there that sometimes even the relationships that we think are sound and true, those change too. Relationships within our families, within our church, within our our workplaces, we might lose our jobs, right? Many things might change. Things that we really thought would, would be behind us, those things will change. But we have a God that will never change. We have a God, as, as Sister Elaine said, who is the I am that I am. He's faithful and true. He, he, he's as high as the heavens from the earth, so as he is from us. And he's there for us. And he's beckoning to us to hold on to him, to trust in him. And he's proven time and time again that he will heal with everybody's his promises. Amen? Amen. Coming to us uh, this evening, I want to say a special thanks before we meet the moderator to the praise team and the musicians as well. A special recognition to Brother Horace, Brother Bidassi, Brother Scott. They did a wonderful job as the praise team was on here singing and ministering to us. They were really, really playing well. So a special thanks to them. Uh, coming to us is our moderator, Sister Cole, no stranger to us. She will be directing the service and uh, trying to keep us engaged as, as she speaks to us. So I want to give her undivided attention. I want to focus on what she's saying and how she will be in the service. I'll pray that the Lord will use her mind to you. Coming to us uh, is our host pastor. He was on for a little while. And we are giving thanks to God that he's back with us. Amen? Yes. And he's coming to us with a message, a very important message on this theme that we have for this month. Don't forget. Right? And it is speaking to us to, to encourage us to not forget the Lord's goodness. Many times we, we tend to think that it's all about us and our own energies and, and our efforts. But this theme is, is, is calling us to reflect on the fact that it's God's grace and mercy that has brought us here. Amen? Amen. So, Pastor will be coming to us. We often have a song that he sings. Um, he brought me out to the married clay, and, and each time he comes, I remember it. And it's saying that he brought me out to the married clay. He put my foot on a rock to stay. And so it is the Lord has given us a strong foundation, Jesus Christ. And Despite the worries that we might have, as I see the heads turned down, and you know, the, the heads just came up, up as I said, turned down. <laughs> if you ever could see her, oh no, all the heads just came up at the same time. Right? But he has put our feet on a rock to stay, right? And the Lord said, On this rock, I'll be my church, and the gates of hell 
Right. So it is that the gates of hell never prevail. And so you know sometimes the devil wants to rob us and, and take away our joy and, and, and bring back things to our remembrance and, and allow us to focus on different things. Here it is that he said he brought me out of the marriage. He put my feet on a rock to stay. He put a song in my heart today. And as Pastor comes, I want to encourage you to listen to him. He has a word from the Lord, a word that will encourage us, a word that will help us as we go through the way. Sometimes there are times when there's, there's nothing that can console us, right? And it is that, that word that we heard on Sabbath is there to encourage us. So we are imploring you to listen as he comes to us. So without further ado, I am going to go to our moderator, Sister Paul, and Sister Paul, and Sister Paul.
Jesus, our Savior and our King. We long for your presence this afternoon. We want to thank you for bringing us thus far into worship. And as we stand to sacrifice this afternoon, we praise to you, Lord. I pray that you will cleanse us and make us worthy to worship you. I pray, Lord, that for everything that should be said and done, it may be done to your name's honor and glory. I pray that you take the moderator in charge, Lord. Give her the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to speak as an oracle that you are here. I pray, Lord, that you will choose the scripture and everything else that should be used this afternoon. I pray for your man, servant, Pastor Bill. I pray, Lord, that you will let him just open his mouth so you can fill it with your words. So at the end of today, we will hear a word that will help us through this day. Have your own sweet day. And those who are listening outside or online, I pray that you will impart a blessing to them too. So that at the end of today, we will have a wonderful time in the world. Please have our mercies with us. Amen. Yeah. 
one verse of that song again. And we're going to just understand the writer's intention. Understand what God wants to say to us. What He wants to minister to us today. Praise God. As we destroy your ego. Don't forget. But try to remember. Oh, praise be to God. And I want everybody in this house to just, amen, see Jesus Christ doing a work for all of us. See him making a sacrifice. One that, amen, no one else was available to do. But only Jesus Christ was available to die on the cross. So that a soul, so worthy, back there. Oh, praise God. Let's come again. Oh, are you here? Far away. Still, oh, right across. It's there. Hallelujah, the sacrifice you made will pray. 
Irish Pentagon? Oh no, I'll exchange. It's someday for a crown. Come on, church. I want to see it one more time. The last time I come. Sentimental. These things. 
things are important. Make no mistake, don't forget it. And so have you ever forgotten something like someone's birthday, someone's anniversary, or an important appointment? It is so easy to forget. I'm going to you right now sometimes forget your, your very birthday. And you have to go back to the calendar and ask your mother and ask your friend. You forget your anniversary. You forget something important, something special. We all forget something sometimes. It happens often to God's people. And so the book of Judges, there is a cycle that is repeated many times. Forgetting God's calamity, remembering God's deliverance. We need to always understand that there are some things that we must always try our best to remember. And so the psalmist describes for us what happened to the children of Israel, the sin that they had committed in forgetting God. But before we also need to, also to take a careful examination of our own lives, the times others forget. But we need to constantly remember these vital signs and these important things. Have you ever been guilty of forgetting what God has done for you? For many of us, yes, the many things He has done for us, we seem to forget. The many crimes that we make, the many times we try to say that it's not working, God has already worked that for us so many times, but we seem to forget. Hallelujah. You know, usually we forget God after a tremendous blessing. As Elisha did when God turned up on Mount Carmel, when God, amen, slain the 450 beer prophets, when God Almighty allowed beer prophets to understand that God rules this territory, that God is involved on the mountain. But God will set fire from above and burn the sacrifice. These are some, those are some things that happen right in Mount Carmel. Beer's prophets were all killed and Elijah was saved himself alone. But I think right there and Elijah chose to forget the tremendous amen, sacrifice that God had made the powerful display that he did in Mount Carmel how could Elijah really forget all that the Bible said but as soon as that display was done, Jezebel turned up and said to the man of God, Bye tomorrow. I'll make your life as miserable. I'll take that life from you that you have taken from the Beast prophet. Hallelujah. The man of God shuddered. The man of God 
walked away and went out on a day's journey. He walked away because he couldn't afford to lose his life and he forgot about the miracles. He forgot about God turning up on Mount Carmel. He forgot about God's work in a, in a miraculous way and his wonders he didn't perform. The Bible said he went a far out on a day's journey and there he stood on the juniper tree and there he wished, he wished death to overtake him. While he was there sleeping, God Almighty turned up. Ah, by way of an angel, and put right beside him bread and water. Hallelujah. The voice came to him and said, Elijah, I wake up, rise up and eat. For the journey is too great for you. Oh, hallelujah. He rose up and hid. And he went back to sleep again. But God was insistent that he rise from where he was. For he must not forget. He must remember. There are times of events happen in our lives. That we should never forget about it. Ah, the memories linger. We need to remind our neighbors about it. Remind our children about it. Remind all those who we see about it. Ah, keep it in memory. Keep it alive at all times. Hallelujah. For it turned up in your sickness. He turned up, amen, in your helpless state. He turned up when you were nobody. Come on, church. He gave you life. He sustained you. Oh, hallelujah. You need to say to somebody that God is a sustainer. That God is a deliverer. That God is a present help in time of trouble. Well, praise be to God. Somebody needs to know who Jesus is. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright of morning star. Well, praise God. He's the fairest of 10,000. To my soul, come and church. We must not forget. But we must continue to remind ourselves to always remember. Amen. Oh, praise be to God. Remember, take courage from the past. Come and praise God. Amen. Take courage ah, from what God did. Hallelujah. Take courage from the rescue. From the refuge that he brought us, brought you from. Hallelujah. Tell somebody today that he is our refuge and he's our strength. Jezebel represents the devil. She represents Amen as a picture. Of that demon that comes to us. And we say God never did. God could not have come. Let, 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 let God be forgotten. Hallelujah in your life. But the memories of God. Must stay firm. The works of Jesus Christ. Must never be forgotten. Hallelujah. For somebody needs to know about it. Oh, praise be to God. Can I praise him today? Oh, praise God. We tend to forget God after a great, tremendous blessing. After a revival. During revival. Ah, during Prayer support during even times when giving 
increased during amen participation at a time like those we need to always remember God or oh, praise God when somebody is praying when there is a revival breaking out in our spirit during a revival something good is always happening oh praise be to God we need to always remember let us not forget oh praise God the time for the sin is superb it's easy to remember God when things are going good but when we forget God at any cost. When things are going good, hallelujah, it gives you the right and the reach. It gives you the act and the mind. It allows you to understand not that you are better off than anybody else, but God favors you. Amen. Well, praise be to God. Can I praise God? Don't forget to remember God's power. For God's power is unique. God's power provides. God's power prepares. God's power anoints or praise God. And God's power declares. Can we praise Him today? Our fathers understood not the wonders in Egypt. They say what God did for them in Egypt. They saw miraculous plagues on the seashore. Come church. They saw the destruction of the enemies. But all this was for their deliverance. All that God did was for them to stand up and be counted. What God did was for them to show the enemy that God remains God and true to his word. Can we praise God today? Hallelujah. They were to be a living proof. They were to be a proof that God is powerful, that God is mighty, and that God is great. Oh, praise God. Something are worthwhile rehearsing. Hallelujah. We must add it as an anthem, ring out in our ears every day, sing it like a song. Hallelujah. Play it over and over and over again. And the writer said, Sing the Lord again to me. Wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty. Oh, praise be to God. We need to always culture them. We need to always, hallelujah. And show that we have them around us. Who oh, praise God? Where do we place the reminders? Amen. There's a person who place the events in their room. Place the events on their walls. Place the events at strategic points. Amen. Around them, that they will never forget. Who oh, praise be to God? If God lift you up and raise you up, oh praise God. And the song says, He raised me up. Oh praise be to God. If God is doing that for us, raising us up and showing Amen up when we are in trouble, then we need to place that in great purity. Oh, praise be to God. For those are miracles. 
Those are events that we need not, amen, we need not forget. They were not only for the instruction of the heavenly, but what I said before, they were, they, they, they were for the deliverance, amen, of the children of Israel. And those were proof that God really exists. Friends today, we must always remember the multitude of the mercies of God. The sin of not amen understanding will lead into the sin of memory. What is not understood will sometimes be forgotten. And when God is working for us, we need to fully understand it. So we can, amen, we can put them, amen, to memory and remind ourselves that this is all about the Lord. Oh, pray the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Men feel the interest in preserving the ask. If they even know nothing about the inner kernel. The thing is, if you know what a coconut is like, and the us have to be peeled off, you would have an interest in the husk, unless you know what's behind the husk. Hallelujah. God Almighty had done ah, so much great things for us. The song says we're off. We are glad. Aren't you glad today that you are a child of God? Aren't you glad today that you are not so much engaged in the heavenly's den? But you are, amen, in God's hands. But you are a servant of this divine God. Oh, praise be to God. Oh, hallelujah. You can run to the rock for refuge. You can talk to him in the morning. In the evening, you can talk to him. When you're thirsty, you can shout him. When you're naked, you can call him. Come on, church. When you are sick and burning down, you can remind yourself that my dad is up there. Oh, praise be to God. And all we've got to do is to give him a call. That's why the songwriter said, sexual never busy. Always on the line. We can hear from heaven. Almost any time. It's a royal service. It is free. For one and all. When we get in trouble, give the royal light a call. Oh, praise be to God. Hallelujah. Troubles are everywhere. It's around us. It's behind us. It's before us. Hallelujah. But God. But God. Our Heavenly Father is saying to us today, don't be mindful of the troubles. Hallelujah. I'm here to take your burdens away and to give you a new song. Oh, praise be to God. God wants to give us a song that we can sing every day. We can remind others that this God that we serve, hallelujah, is worthwhile serving. Oh, praise God. This God that I'm speaking about, I want to give him to you today. Oh, praise be to God. He's the true and living God. Oh, praise God. Israel provoked God and the Red Sea. Israel doubted God. Doubted his power. 
to deliver they provoke God by their language we sometimes are done not to provoke God by what we say uh, the utterances we make uh, we provoke God Exodus 14 and verse 11 because there's no no grave, there were no graves in Egypt as though taking us away out of Egypt to die in the wilderness. These were words of provocation. Hallelujah. But they could not see the brighter moment. They could not see the bigger picture where God brought them out. Hallelujah. And gave them man. Yeah. As they went through the wilderness. Ah, they were all thirsty. And God gave them water. Yeah. They could not remember. Hallelujah. The benefits and blessings. That they obtained from God. Hallelujah. Yeah. But it step the mirror. What God is taking us through. Our wilderness experiences. It may not be an easy one, but take courage and go through. Take courage and remain courageous. Take courage and see a song of victory. Take courage and pray. Hallelujah. Stand up and be a brave. Oh, praise be to God. For God Almighty is with you. And the God of Jacob is our refuge. Can we praise God? How can we apply this to our hearts today? As Christians, we go through the same pattern. They are free. We are free from bondage, from the bondage of this world. We expect everything to be perfect in our lives but we all have a cross to bear it's important though being God's children we all have a cross to bear we all come against our red seas and our rough moments we all come against Pharaoh's and his armies we come against our wickedness and decisions that are made against us. But I want to learn to know that those who are for us, hallelujah, those who are not for us are, are more than those. The, those who are for us are more than those against us. Oh, praise be to God. One shall chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight. Hallelujah. This is history. God has spoken. Hallelujah. God shows up in the Israelites' army. Come on, church. It's a good word for us today. It's a good reminder for us today. Yeah. It is something we need to put among our collection, collections of God's benefit. Let's run it by our friends. Run it by our neighbors. Run it by our children. Speak about it when we are going out. Speak about it at the dinner table. Yeah. Speak about it Anywhere we go, let somebody know that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, is Lord and that he is King. Don't forget to remember his power to see you through problems. Hallelujah. Don't forget God's uniqueness. Hallelujah. And God's depth of mercy to take us through this pandemic. Hallelujah. Many things are happening. Come on, 
church. Medicine or no medicine, God is much more powerful than the trials that are being made of you mountain today. Hallelujah. God, if God disproves that, it won't work. Hallelujah. When God turned up and shows up in your sick condition. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God gave you this medication. Hallelujah. Then nobody can stop it. For he is a healer divine. He is the El Shaddai. He is the Baron Gilead. He is the Little Valley. He's a bright and morning star. Can you praise God today? Let's praise Him today. Being free from sin doesn't give, amen, doesn't give, amen, us a greater life of ease. Does not prevent headaches. Does not allow us to not be in troubles and problems will not forfeit tough times. Hallelujah. But God will come through in these moments. Let us not forget. We are all His children. Hallelujah. And in difficult moments, God Almighty will show up. Don't forget to remember his power to see you through your problems. Psalm 42, 14 verse 2. He brought me up out of this horrible pit. Hallelujah. Out of the mire clay. And he set my feet on a rock to stay. He established my goings. That's the God we serve. Oh, praise God. And every now and then, we must try to remember what it was like before God lift us up. Come on, church. Have you ever thought about that? What you were before, before you were like this today, so beautiful of people. Ah, so magnificent and looked before God. The devil wants to destroy you because God has changed you. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Hallelujah. When you were the devil's amen agent, nobody wants you. Nobody likes you. People want to just use you to do the better work. Well, God might have changed you. And give you a new new clothes to wear. Hallelujah. Change your voice, your tone. Change your demeanor. Everything about you have changed. Hallelujah. Then everybody wants to have you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, let your mind the devil, but high on his. And he is mine. Oh, praise be to God. Praise God. We are calling up today. Hallelujah. We are calling up today on the rough side of the mountain. We will not be deterred by the mountain range. We won't be deterred by what is happening on the mountain as we make our steps. Come on, church. Amen. I will make our steps on the mountain range. Hallelujah. God will make another step as we climb higher and higher. Oh, praise God. Even when we become a breathless, as we move higher and higher, we are more exposed to the devil. The I am going God. Amen. The more exposed we are. Ah, to the devil. He wants to take us out. He 
wants to put us down. But in the name of Jesus, oh praise be to God. Higher, higher, deeper, deeper. In the love of Jesus, dare to let me go. Higher, higher, in the school of wisdom, more of his grace to show. Oh, deeper, yet I pray.
Holiness of the Lord. Now and forever. Go praise be to God. Praise God. Take your pencil and your books and write down something. For God has graciously blessed you with many mercies. Hallelujah. If you feel your brain can't manage, pen it, put it in writing, place it in a point where you can always take it up and say, God, you brought me out. God, you have delivered me. God, you have favored me. God, you have showed up. When I was hungry, you showed up. Am I speaking today of persons who are very hungry? I felt hungry, hunger in the life. Yes. Come on, church. Yes. These are all God's best people every day. Amen. You have never tasted that before. Yes. Come on, church. Yes. You, have, you don't know what it feels to go to your bed without amen, something to eat. Yes. Blessings and honor. Come on. Glory to all of you. Yes. I want to find somebody today, yes. even by your grace hand, to say, I know what you're talking about. Come on, church. Yes. Even one hand to say, I know what you're talking about. Should be sick? Still can't see your hand. Should be hungry? Still can't see your hand. Hallelujah. To be great problems and trouble. Come on, church. These are persons who God has delivered and set free. And forget their past. Forget their history. Come on, church. We should never forget. Hallelujah. We should never forget. But devil wants to bind up your thought and to close your memory. But in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we must lose, lose our thought, hallelujah, and allow our memories to explore, hallelujah, what God brought us through in the past. We can bring it out in the form of testimony that he brought me out of the marriage clay. Oh, praise be to God. Come on, praise God. I'm going to close. You know what, brethren? Just after the song, the song deliverance. Amen. They forget. They forget after three days journey in the wilderness the same group of Israelites they forget what God did for them. Hallelujah. Faith in God to murmur. Forgetting the provision God had made. They needed water. They said God provided. God did provide. They complained about the manna. And God said it. Amen. Some had wanted to just have it full every day. But God said, look, come at a certain time. You'll get manna. Some persons didn't want to be restricted. But God said, you're under restriction. If I am providing, I tell you when to come and get it. Come and shit. They complained about the man that God said, let's not forget. Don't forget. Let's always remember God's promises. The you as well remember that they weren't slaves in Egypt. They Forget about being in Egypt. They were present. Amen. They dwell in the present. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 23. 
God brought you out from hell. So, you could, so you could, so could bring you in. God brought you out from hell. So God could bring you in. And that's the way that God works. Brought you out. So he could bring you in. Where are you today? You are here. Hallelujah. You could have been out. But God brought you in. In his kingdom. At some time. As this. Don't make the mistake. Of forgetting the truth. For the truth will set you. Free. Proverbs 3. 5, 6. Trust in the Lord. With all that art. Lean up to that own understanding. But in all our ways. In all our ways. What in all our ways? And he shall direct that path. Ephesians 3 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that he acts or think according to the power that worketh within us. Psalm 19 verse 11. Thy words have I hid in my heart for I have had sin against me. Can I hear you say right now, Lord? Help me to remember. Can I hear you say that right now? Lord, help me to remember. Just put in down your hands right, right on your, on your chest right now. And close your eyes and say, God, come on, say, God, you are good. Help me to remember. Oh, praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. When you think of the cross of Christ, we can say, Amen. Never history of the universe as mankind owed much to one. Come, church. When you think of it, the work, the transaction of the cross, never can mankind, amen, ever say that we are not owed this one man something. We owe Jesus Christ our life. All to him we owe. And so therefore we need to live in obedience to God. We need to understand we must not forget to remind ourselves to remind others Remind others and ourselves that indeed we must remember in order to remember or praise to the name of the Lord. Take the name of Jesus with you. Child of Sodom, the joy covered gives you. Take it there. Where you go? Please stand for the closing. Take that name of Jesus we all child of sorrow.
what's happening around us. We are safe to say that our God is bigger than that. Our God is better than that. Oh, God can make him in a way where there seems no way. I pray for our brothers and sisters in our global community. Our brothers and sisters in Jamaica land we love in our church community. I pray, my dear God, for those families who are affected in this pandemic. I pray for ease of the mind. I pray for extension of their faith in you. I pray that individuals will trust you and come to know, to know you on the Lord's life eternal. I pray for strength today for our brethren. As you seek, mighty God, uh, in ensuring that we remain strong in you, especially this time, that we can, we can commit, amen, to others, a word, amen, of saving grace, a word that will help them to make a decision even beyond today. I thank you, mighty God, for the ministry. I thank you for the word you have sent. I thank you, mighty God, for the arts that are available to us in the world. Those, amen, online, and those within the radius of my voice, may you send comfort, send share, bless the words to the heart of those who listen, that they will find it, their life takes on a new meaning. As we close today, may you close with us, dear Son, and let your light shine in our hearts, that we can extend the love to those who are our church. Bless us right now, pray, and dismiss the service with your riches and most powerful blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. We say that, Amen.